Greetings, dapplings, and welcome back to the Dapper Dell and to the third episode of my Father's Frontier series. In the last episode, we passed some, well, pretty important milestones, actually, with the construction of the Market Square, first and foremost, to help supply the growing number of houses and, of course, to collect a little bit of tax as well. And we also managed to build a Trader's Post, which we've already kind of put to work collecting a nominal fee from traders exchanging wares in our wagon yard. We haven't actually really bought much or sold much, uh, truth be told, but we have managed to make a fair bit of money just helping the traders move stuff from one wagon to the next. But finally, and probably most importantly, we also wrapped up the episode by checking out our first farm as the villagers finished setting it up. It took them about a year to go and we still haven't really started growing crops there. We've mostly started prepping the fields, but we can at last say we have officially settled the area. Now that we have begun to grow our own food, or rather we've got the uh, foundation work done for growing our own food, we are thus reducing our reliance on hunting and seasonal forage. And I believe there's some quotes floating around saying you haven't truly colonized the place until you, you've actually uh, started growing uh, your own crops there, something to that effect. So with these solid foundations laid, we can focus on growing out our population and expanding the industries that we have available. And on that note, uh, let's see, how is the population growing going? Uh, well, we've got... Oh, <laughs> Apparently quite well. Two new villages have immigrated and two new have been born and we've actually made a couple of houses. So I guess we're going to be starting off this episode in the best of ways and that is by finding out who just joined us. Hey everyone, please welcome to the community Tally Fireheart to go along with Taryn Winterblade. I'm sure they're going to be firm friends. Also we have Melody Rose. We additionally have Caligal. And a rare tribe member has joined the colony. Thank you all so very, very much for your continued support, both in Patreon and over on Twitch. And uh, hopefully you're going to have some fantastic lives here in the colony. We'll try and make sure that this works for you. Uh, on that note, uh, since the, the uh, expansion of our population is going so well, let's go ahead and check out what we can do in terms of the expansion of our industries. Uh, let's go to resources. Now, one of the main things that we're working on at the moment, or rather waiting on, I should say, it, what on earth is going on over there? Uh, how about you move down here? There we go. That that was, yeah, that's, let's never speak about this. Get bloody wizards. I knew letting them in the colony in the beginning was going to be a bad omen. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we have, we're still waiting on the basket weaver. Uh, that is something we do want to get up and running as quickly as we can, honestly, because it's going to be a big, important one for us. We have got a Fletcher, though. We have got a Cobbler. Uh, so we've got arrows, bows, and indeed shoes. Uh, we've also got a Tannery down... Oh, no, that's a saw pit. Where is the Tannery? The Tannery hasn't been built yet. It's coming along. All right, well, we'll speed things up a little bit to try and get there as fast as we can. Now, there are also a couple of other items that have been added. I'm going to... Can I tell you to not do this job anymore? Can I, can I please? Yeah, let's get rid of that construction site. They will never be able to do this because these are actually in the ground and we are never going to quite be able to get to the ground. Uh, it, sorry, in the water. We're never gonna be able to get into the water to get them out. Now, uh, one of the changes that has been brought along since our last episode is that kind of thing has been fixed. The map won't generate stuff like that anymore, which is always quite cool to know. Let's check in on the farm. How did we do? Uh, we're up to a fertility of 68% now. So that is a little bit higher. I think it was 65 a little while ago. It is going to constantly be dropping over time. You can leave it fallow. You can plant a crop that is going to increase it. But generally speaking, it's going to trend downwards. But this is uh, this is actually quite nice. So we're up by, by 3% on what it started at with the clover. Now, we've got a new hunter's area and forager's hut over here doing some good work, I would imagine. We've got a little clay pit down there that we can also perhaps tap into to help with the, uh, the uh, sorry, uh, sand pit, to help with the clay soil that we've got. That might actually be well worth us doing and indeed we do now have the means of building one as soon as we have made a, uh, where are we? Uh, not there, apparently. Where is, is it under storage, perhaps? Yes, there we are, wagon shop. We're going to need to build a wagon shop relatively soon, I would say. A vault might also be quite nice. Uh, but where could we build said wagon shop? I mean, it's going to take a fair old bit. It's going to require planks for one thing. 
let's let's let our people get more of their work done yet. We've still no, actually we've got all of the houses going. So we can probably look to drop down one or two more. Just to make sure that we've got a bit of room. We've only got 16 space for new settlers. That's not quite enough, if you ask me. Uh, but I do want to leave... I, I keep pressing R to rotate. I'm so sorry. It's been a while. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to leave a little room there for a school if we can. I might need to flatten out the terrain just up here, though. Alternatively, I could have this house just kind of nestled in there at the corner. Yeah, I like that, since we are going to want to start pulling up people's desirability in these locations. Now, if we could do that, uh, let's have a quick look. You've got a desirability of... Uh, it's currently got to be at 30. You're currently at 21. Okay, well, I think we can probably work on that. Let's have a look at a couple of other things, though. In terms of the village of happiness... Right now, everyone is in incredibly high spirits. The issue is going to come from us upgrading these houses to the point where they suddenly demand more. Nevertheless, I think it's probably wise that we make a start on that. Now, one thing we can do is we can prop a little shrine back here. No, it's a little bit too large. Wow, and more immigrants already? Okay, well, I'm all about that, but uh, let's try and get this place tidied up a little bit. Maybe a medium garden is only going to be a two? Yeah, that'll that'll be lovely. We can just uh, tuck this one in. Well, we kind of need something down there, frankly, because they are not happy. But uh, let's pop a little garden there. We will also have a look for one of these gardens. And these ones are particularly nice because they can squeeze in a lot of spots that I have left open, more or less for this reason, if I'm perfectly honest with you. There we are. That'll give them a good couple of jobs to do, and they are, they are actually going to require gold, so we are going to need to start bringing the gold in, but we've got four new villagers, my lord. Let's have a look. Have we got any other known names yet? Uh, yeah, Magres Polar Bear Horde the second. Okay, welcome, welcome. Enjoy. And we've also got uh, Union ID Tribe the second. Okay. Very well. So we've got uh, only two new villages to name. So I shall bring you back in just a moment. Everyone, please say hello to Pepster and to Beatrum, which is particularly funny because I only just added their, their name to the name list. So uh, it seems a chaotically smiling particularly broadly when uh, you popped in uh, your request to be on the name list over on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support and welcome to the colony. All right, there we go. All right, we've got a couple of houses due to go up. We've got a few uh, buildings that will help out a little, little tiny bit. But I do think a school is going to be necessary. Now, one question I have, how much clay? No clay yet. But we've got clay deposits around. Okay, we are absolutely going to require then the wagon, uh, the wagon building. Let's go ahead and get that going. The wagon shop. It is 100% required. We cannot go any longer without. Uh, should we pop it down by the traders? It's a poss possibility, I suppose. And yes, I did just do the same thing again. Uh, however, how about we tuck this one? Since this isn't going to affect the desirability, how about we just tuck that one over here? I think that'll, that'll be fine. We'll pop a little road out to that area as well. Of a chilling winter here. That should be okay. I don't anticipate too much problems, though uh, it is particularly cold, so we might not see much more work being done for a little while, so we'll speed things up a bit. Let's go and check out how our hunters and foragers are doing. Uh, you're heading out. So what are you off to? You're shelter stocking, fair enough. And our hunter is still doing work. Well done. I do appreciate that quite a lot, actually. Uh, now, in terms of other location. We really do need to find a source of willow from somewhere. Uh, we have gone all the way around here. Did, was any willow discovered? I don't recall. No, it doesn't look like. And I know that there are some wolves over in this location that we don't really want to uh, want, want to poke, frankly. So let's try and avoid that and instead expand out here. Now, if anyone is brave enough to go out on an explore in the middle of winter, well, I mean, well done, but also uh, maybe I shouldn't encourage you to do such stupid things, I suppose. Uh, oh, well. 
Now, the wagon shop has already been made. Well done. Well done indeed. Uh, Magres Polar Bear, the second, is already working there and building wagons. Fantastic. Who have we got working in our tannery? We've got Melody Rose and Tally Fireheart. Nice. Uh, have we got any other jobs set up just yet? No new jobs, not yet, anyway. Uh, a small park is actually doing really quite well there. Bring, bringing a lot of uh, a lot of happiness to peeps. Right, new year number six, and two new villagers have immigrated. We've got Namk. Let's get you. You are a tribe member, so thank you very much for your Twitch support. And Mr. Crazy Sailor, also another tribe member. Okay, we've got a couple of uh, tribe members in the colony now. There we go. See, it does it does pay to show up to the live streams as well. Uh, right, I, I really do love the the. Uh, the fact that this game adds that in once a name is there. Also, yes, I fixed it. Don't worry. It's, it's been done. Now, let's have a quick look at this place. Field maintenance, the weed level down, the rockiness is down quite nice. Yearly taxes collected. How much did we actually get? 157 ingots in total. We're currently working on planting some turnips which will hopefully, with the 68% fertility that they started with, do okay. Ah, oh, there we go. I was waiting to see what this would be like. All right, and it actually tells us who it is. Atka of the Iron Clan. There is a potential for us to shift around some stone for you, if you particularly want. Uh, now, how long are you going to be here for? You're going to be here for 65 days. I will leave you there for now and see if another trader shows up that I'm going to be able to trade between. I would very much like to start moving around some more of your goods for a uh, very, very generous fee. Now, the uh, lumbering industry needs a bit of help, so let's go ahead and harvest some trees. Uh, let's not go for the areas nearby where we're currently harvesting or rather hunting. Let's go for these trees over here. It'll be nice and easy. We can get them into the... Uh, into the... Uh, sawmill then. Get a decent amount of planks made as quickly as is possible. No new trader yet. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Ah, there we go. I knew if I waited just a little bit longer. I was about to... <laughs> knew if I waited uh, as if uh, it was all going to plan. All right, there we are. Let's find out who we got. We have got... Something, apparently. Okay, let's get rid of both of you. Can... Nope. Yes, there we are. Right, so we've got uh, and a planes rider. Do you wish to buy stone? No, you just want to sell it. That is a shame. Okay, is there any kind of crossover? The candle, soap, linen cloth, pottery, beer, and wood planks. You sell soap. You're selling it for twelve. How much are they buying it for? You're buying it for 13. So there is a there is a bit of a money to be made there. That's good. That's good to see. Uh, you know what? Then the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to buy as much of this as I can afford with the 72 gold that we've got there. Not very much. Buy in stock. And I'm going to go through and find all of the, the choice deals. And then we'll actually look at what we want to buy from the traders. Okay. Well, we were making very little money off each trade as... Uh, Atka was buying them for base price of 13, and Ander was only selling them for one less than that. Still, we did make a tidy profit. Exactly 134 gold out of all of that. Uh, unfortunately, there doesn't look to be very many good deals available. Certainly nothing that we want to buy at the prices that they're selling them for. So that's fair enough. We will just let them go along. We charged our extremely generous fee for helping them move all of the crates between their carts. And now it looks like our first harvest is starting to come in. This is fantastic. Okay. Uh, current soil, though, we are going to need to get some sand over here to help out with this. But this is fantastic. We've got 403 so far out of the 752 that we're planted still that's not bad at all i must say uh the estimated yield of 752 yeah we got 496 out of that but that is perfectly perfectly fine now that will have pulled down fertility a little bit but we're about to push that one back up with the beans over here hopefully and predator sighted okay villagers are attacked by predator please don't actually be a bit no it is a wolf 
All right, there was a bit of a bit of a chat in the comments about uh, wolves and specifically the bad rep that they seem to have in games, considering how absolutely uncommon it is for a wolf attack to actually happen in real life. That being said, I mean, part of that is because we have actively killed so many of them over time. Wow, did we just lose someone? Uh, no, I don't think so, but they are pretty badly hurt. Uh, did they go down? Yes, they did go down. Damn it. Okay, well, they are bleeding out. We've just lost our second person. Oh, that is a shame. We lost Melody Rose Horde. You only just got here, Melody Rose. Uh, I don't believe we have the means at all to build a healer's hut. Well, actually, that said, the cost of a healer's hut has gone down dramatically. Still, it's a little bit more than we can afford, and we don't have the clay. That is quite tragic. Ultra tragedy. We can't do anything. We can't. We can't bring them out of there. They're just gonna have to. Uh, this is why we don't don't play the game on max speed when there's a predator around. Uh, that you slow things down so you can make snap reactions to a changing situation. But uh, well, I guess Biclo has, has uh, gone long long enough without a uh, without a roommate. Uh, it's very very sad that we can't get anyone to. Uh, Village is gravely wounded and will perish unless... Yes, yes, I know. They, we can't do anything about that. We need the clay. But they've been long enough without without any uh, any roommates. So hopefully uh, they'll be, be happy with that. We've got three new in, uh, villages and two new villagers born. Let's uh, check this out. We've got uh, Rakala or Rachala, uh, is, uh, is Avena and Daniel. And amongst the children, we've got Krish and Grata. This will not do. Let us find out what your true names are. Everyone, welcome Ellie, FCR, Shelab, and Dakota as the new immigrants, and Amira and Ugrak as the new children. Uh, just in time, because we've got a uh, sudden vacancy in a couple of our couple of our places. Uh, on that note, how quickly are we managing with this? Well, in terms of storage, we've got a decent amount. I would actually like more to be set up. In terms of items produced last year, uh, sure, we'll get an extra person working there. And as for our cobbler, sure, we'll get uh, Dakota helping out there as well. Additionally, I would finally like one more person there. Mr. Crazy Sailor! There we are. That should all work out nicely. Are we doing okay with firewood? Presently, yes, we are. Uh, it certainly isn't awful. Oh. Uh, right, now, with all of that done, it is time that we get the clay pit built so that we can eventually build the healer, I would say. And now that we've got the wagon shop, we can build anything that requires a wagon to function. So, uh, these large resources like this will require this. Uh, can I? Hmm. Do I really want to pop that there? Let's pop it over here instead, I think. I would much rather it be over there and away from the... Uh, village for now. We'll see how that one goes. Additionally, we'll go ahead and we'll build a sand pit over... Well, there's one there. Are there any other closer ones? Actually, there's one over here as well. And since we've already got a road most of the way, let's go ahead and pop that down. Uh, we are going to need to expand this road out, though. And we can probably... If we just bring it out to there, just curve this up, maybe? It's a little bit hard to see through the trees on where that's going, but that should work, I think. There we are. Oh, it does kind of... Oh, no, no that's a tree. I thought it was uh, doing a little S over there, so I was going to have to reposition it. But that should all be fine, and the wagons then can just head up in these okay, uh, these directions. All right, not the worst that it could be, but also kind of not the best either. Uh, let's have our wagon move over here. Are you going to behave this time? Because I don't want to see any kind of weird shenanigans going on. Flickering in and out of existence. Right, well, with that done, in terms of the school, the clay will be enough for that, though the cost... Well, actually, it doesn't cost anything. And if this is going to push all of these into homesteads, that will be a big help. That will actually bring us in a decent amount of cash. The healer, though, is going to be an issue for us. Uh, we are going to need to work on that one. For the time being, though, I would very much like to flatten some more of this terrain if we can. Uh, over the maximum size. Okay, well, let's uh, lift that up a little bit more then. Something like this. 
Okay. Let's just get it so that we can have a couple more houses there, and that should be good enough. Uh, we could maybe have another house or two down here and start building out a wall around here, though once this upgrades, we would be able to have more and more houses outside of it. We'll see where that goes. In terms of food, though, we've got 11 months worth of food, though we will lose seven months of it reasonably soon. Union ID Tribe the Second and Namk, uh, both tribe members, are working in the clay pit there. And let's uh, go down and see. Have we got this set up yet? No, it's probably going to take us a little while. On that note, let's check out how many laborers have we got. We've actually got a decent amount. Um, let's say keep it to five builders at a time. Oh, what's happening there? Uh, we are out of ammunition, really, now. Let's have a look. Is our Fletcher doing a decent enough job? Yeah, we should have plenty over there. Right, we've got two new babes born. Let's have a look. Mikal and Corella. Let us find out what your jellical names are. All right, we have Plumber Smack and Rizal have both joined. I'm fairly certain that we've, we've seen both of them in the colony before, but unless they actually show up naturally through the selection, we won't increase the number. We'll just say it's a popular name. Also, I, I believe Rizal's on both the patron name list and is on here thanks to Twitch, so uh, we may, might see Rizal of both Horde and Tribe showing up uh, one time or another. Incoming travelers wish to immigrate. Seven people. Well, I mean, I could. Sure, okay. <laughs> the only reason I wouldn't is because, oh my lord, there's a lot of naming going to go on now. There we go, we've got Elrond and Cat, Sinless Moon, Big Al, River Knight, Evil Friend, Hickson, and Vanya Lost One. Hickson the third, actually. So two new tribe members, one of them uh, the, the third in, no doubt, a long and prosperous line of Hicksons. Okay, in terms of our gathering of lumber, what I would really like to do is make that automatic. Now, there is a way of doing that. Uh, let's have a look. The work camp. Work camps are used to continuously harvest wood and stone. Laborers assigned to the camp will deposit materials at the work camp where a wagon can collect it and haul it to a town much more efficiently. Temporary shelters uh, built near the remote work sites can further increase efficiency. Build a new school to set this town apart. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Now, we can have one of those relatively close by, but I don't really want to destroy the natural beauty of the town. I certainly don't want to do it too close to where I'm already hunting, as that might impact the hunting that is available. So this one's going to be relatively far out. So let's have a look around for an area where there's a decent amount of stuff, but not necessary hunting that could be done. Got some iron ore over there that we might want to mine. That wouldn't be a bad one. We've even got some coal over here. So I could actually bring it out and maybe set that up in this corner. Uh, down here, this is decently far away from everything there. And we could continue harvesting the mushrooms, the eggs, and so on and so forth. Uh, how about down here? We've got some more iron ore up in these mountains. Some more iron ore there. More iron ore there. Okay, so over here, I think, would be a very, very good place for us to pop down a work site. Now, let's uh, go ahead and see what we can do with this. Let's pop you, I guess, more or less in the middle, somewhere around here. Now, I suppose popping it there would do just as well. It doesn't really matter over much. So, in fact, what I'll do is I'll look at the mines first, since they will matter. We've got a lot of material up here, an awful lot of material. But this is going to be a difficult place for people to, to gather material from. I think we might want to hit the coal area first actually got a bit of coal there we mine both iron and coal from this one mine hmm is that a possibility no it has to be a specific coal mine or an iron mine we've got a huge coal seam here decent amount of iron there i guess it doesn't matter too terribly much if we set these up relatively close by got a load over here as well uh, this is relatively close to the town but isn't in any area that we were actively gathering resources from. Sure, we could definitely set something up around here. And as they chop down the trees, new trees will, will grow, and slowly this area will get replenished with nature. I kind of like that idea. Sure, let's pop this around here then. Pop it just about there. That's one coal mine. We are then also going to want to plop down an iron mine. Now, this one, I'm not sure if it needs to be, like, dead center to get the most iron out of it, or how that will work. But either way, we'll, once again, uh, we'll pop this one about here, I think. About there. 
Uh, let's bring a road up, or at least along these buildings. So from here up to about there, and then hopefully twist and turn this about, let's see, there, across. There we are. That'll do. And then we're going to want a couple of extra buildings here. We're going to want the worksite. And we can pop the worksite perhaps a little bit closer, maybe right around here, perhaps. That'll be able to grab a couple of things. We've got some gatherables. We've got sumac. We've got hawthorn. Uh, there's not too much else here. There is some boar here as well, but we've not really seen much in the way of boar up here, so I'm not too worried about that. There are apparently four boar. Maybe it's more that they would lay traps and would occasionally catch some boar. I'm not sure about it, though. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and pop down a forager shack somewhere nearby, since, oh, once again, uh, since that will help out a little bit. It'll take a, a bit of time for that to sink in, I'm terribly sorry to say. Uh, yeah, we could have something there. Could equally have them just a little bit further up, and they'll, they'll grab some more materials there. We'll want a well. I, I enjoy building out these little resource gathering outposts. Uh, I don't know why, but it, it really does satisfy me. Uh, we can pop a, a little well just around here. <laughs> Maybe not next to the coal mine, actually. Thinking about it, uh, I don't I don't trust the water that we'd be getting from that. So uh, let's pop it down here. Not that next to the iron mine is going to be much better. You know what? Just use this water for putting out fires. Do not drink this water, okay? That, that's that's my advice to you. You can take it. You can leave it. That I, I wash my hands of it, but I don't wash them in the water that's coming out of that well. And finally, we'll get the temporary shelter as well. Now, this one is going to be a uh, bit of a bit of a long build for us. It's going to be an expensive one to get set up, but it will be an important one in time. Now, can we get that to uh, slide through? There? We can. Marvelous. It's got a little bit of a curve, a little bit of natural curve to it. I quite like it. All right, brilliant work. Now, how are we doing in terms of the oh, villagers stricken with worms? Did you drink out of that well that I've only just started building? An infection, well, actually, would be worms that you'd be necessarily worried about this here, but uh, an infection with the parasitic worms can lead to various symptoms, including stomach pain, vomiting, fever, rashes. Worms are spread by close contact or through bare feet. Ensure that villagers have shoes, soap, clean water, and that waste is removed from houses. Duly noted, who was it? Beatrim, are you. Beatrim, you only just arrived. What on earth are you doing? Have you been... Uh, I, I don't need... You're a child. The, 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 the sources of worms for you are, uh, are nearly endless. Missing ammunition. Don't like that at all. Have you managed to get some ammunition? You have. Okay, well, at least that is good. Let's continue building out all of these roads, though. We'll hopefully manage to get everything set up down there relatively quick. You were already cured. Well done. Uh, I actually deeply appreciate that. All right. How are you doing for clay? We are not doing well for clay. Uh, Proud to the sighted. It's a bear. Balls. Run away. <laughs> Just keep running. Flee. That's right. Flee towards the tower. No, you're not fleeing towards... You are, you are running the wrong way. You're running straight to your house, aren't you? The bear is going to run straight to your house then. Oh, you fools. Okay. Well, what are we going to do then? It was like, like you over here, please. Where are my hunters? Uh, you. Get down there. Where's my other hunter? I'm not sure that we're really going to need you down here, but you're coming down here as well. So Pew Pew Tribe. <laughs> Fitting. Let's get you down there, considering what I'm going to ask you to do. Is it gone? No, no, it's still there. Please, will you please? Hunters. Where are my hunters? Uh, select you again. There we are. Could you attack them? I, oh, okay, you're actually just getting straight in there. While I do appreciate the effort, I don't want you to die. So, maybe run past? That's right, just keep going, keep going. Keep going very hard. All the way up there. We've got Sir Pew Pew on the way to back you up. Go, Sir Pew Pew. Their life is in your hands. Take him out. No, stop chasing it with your sword and shoot it. Okay, fine. Vanya, I need you to get involved as well. Please, oh my lord, you're gonna let, it's getting away. So pew pew. Oh, right, no, you've definitely got arrows. 
Will you stop trying to kill the bear with your sword? You've got a bow. Oh my goodness. All right, someone else intercept the bear. Go. There's a bajillion. Oh my lord, if that. If we had lost Apple Fumble to that, I would have been livid. <sighs> uh, it's okay in the end, I guess, but I feel that was luck, not judgment. I was judging it perfectly. My silly villagers, though. Oh my goodness. All right, well, uh, there are no stones in range of this work camp. That's fine. You don't need to go for stones. Go for lumber only. Only mature trees, though, please and thank you. Who's working there right now? Little rabbit and pie good. Nice. And in the iron mine, we've got Aleron and Cat and Peps there. I'm so sorry. In the coal mine, Evil Friend and Big Al. I'm also very sorry, though uh, I have a little bit more affinity towards you guys because, you know, Welsh. Uh, right. The wagon creaks and they are on their way. Marvellous to see. Who've got working over in the clay pit? Namp and Union Tribe. Uh, Union ID, sorry. We, we've already checked that, actually. And finally, oh, there, there, the sand. Let's have a look at you. We've got Vanya Oswin and Hickson the third. All right. Now, let's have a quick look at our crops. So, the previous was a oh, current hmm. clover back in the spring. We've we had turnips. Have we not? Did we not manage to gather these? We harvested 7,000. Uh, 7,000, I wish. 720. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Okay, that's uh, reasonably good. Now, I would like to have a quick look. If we were to add a little bit of sand, would that affect everything equally? More or less, actually. Everything could do with a little sand. So let's add a bit of sand. We'll take that one up at least. That will remove the negative from these. But what are we going to be doing over here? We're going to get rid of that. We've currently got turnips, so I don't want turnips again. But what I could do is I could squeeze turnips in there. Now, the problem is, is that turnips and cabbage. Okay, vegetable greens and... Vegetable. Uh, oh, well, actually, vegetable greens and root vegetable. They're probably close enough that there might be a bit of crossover, but we will have a period of downtime for them. So that wouldn't be as bad. I kind of would like to go for carrots, though, if I could, if I could make it happen. This is a minus two. This is a minus two. That is. A, uh, I don't think I can fit carrot in. So no, we're going to have to go for turnips here. I think. There we are. That will give us a decent, decent spread of crops. I'm going to move the crops around just a little bit, though. Uh, you do not mind being moved a bit, so let's slide you up there. Uh, likewise, actually, you've got basically zero frost tolerance, so you really do need to be right by there. Uh, you're the in terms of the clover, they're perfectly fine. All right, well we'll see how that goes. Oh, we've actually got an infection here right now. Current disease: bean, uh, bean brown spots. Crop loss: nine percent now, but sixty percent at peak. Spread chance is four percent within fifty meters. Uh, it's a fifteen percent infestation, but it'll only affect beans. Brown spot often appears in the autumn after cool weather or hard rains. It damages leaves and causes stunted, malformed beans. A two to three year crop rotation and avoiding late plantings can minimize the chance of brown spot. Okay, well, uh, we are only going to be planting beans every uh, three years, so that should be perfectly fine. Root vegetables... We will be planting two years with a gap of one, and uh, regular gr vegetable greens. Uh, they're quite, they're quite decent actually. But I really would like to get uh, maybe something else. I might even be able to go with one of these, but honestly, we're not, we're not pulling up fertility enough to be able to get away with that. It should be fine though, for the time being. It would be nice to get a second field up and running. But right now, in terms of food, we're actually doing quite well. Uh, it is time, though, for us to get some more houses down, and uh, with a quickness, actually, as well. Ooh, wow. Okay. The, so, our l flattening of the land has, you know, it's done a bit of work, but it, it definitely needs a lot more. So let's get on that, shall we? And while all of that's going down... How about we have a look at a couple other options. In terms of food storage, we've got the bakery, we've got the barn, we've got the arborist building. The arborist will allow us to have some fruits. Probably not a bad idea. 
Now, I wouldn't necessarily want to plant the arborist next to the work camp that's cutting down trees, because it takes a long time for an arborist to, to get going, but once it's going, it, it's actually really, really good. Uh, if we were to place the arborist down, we could perhaps have that outside, and then have a bunch of trees over here. I think that actually might not be a bad idea, though that being said, let's uh, go ahead and have a look at the desirability. Uh, what were the other keys? That's irrigation and fertility. Mm. I'm not sure that the arborist is going to care about fertility as much as a farm would, so I'm tempted to have the arborist building up here instead. Let's consider that. Yeah, the fertility is pretty amazing up there. The fertility is 100% down here. But it's still quite high in, in a lot of these locations. Fertility is 100% down. In fact, we could, I guess, have a little arborist building down here and just have a bunch of uh, fruit trees, a nice little orchard down there just beyond the graveyard. I kind of think that would be lovely. In fact, let's rotate that around a bit. There we go. So yeah, we'll, we'll get a bunch of fruit trees down here. So that is going to require that we harvest the trees that exist there. And it's again, it's going to remove some of the natural beauty of the area. But I think it would be particularly nice to have uh, a, a beautiful um, fruit orchard. There'll be lovely, uh, lovely flowering of the trees as a consequence of that. Right, so we have got a temporary shelter. No one is in there right now, but it has got a little bit of food, a little bit of firewood that should help people uh, keep on going. We've got the forager shack doing a nice bit of work. We've got the work camp. Now, the work camp, kind of tempted to have a couple more people in there. Let's see, how many laborers have we got? We've got plenty of workforce. So River Knight and Sinless Moon, you're both going to help out at the work camp. From this point onward, however, we could start working on metal. However, that's going to require that we get up to tier three. We're a good long way from that. Uh, well, actually, hmm, the uh, the armory is now a little bit lower down. Does that mean that the forge is as well? Uh, this requires coal and iron ingots. We do not have the means to do that. Brewery, foundry. There we go. So no, we're gonna. It's gonna be a little while before we can get to that, which is fine. Um, we'll we'll just do our best for now, but. We will go ahead and start loading the ore in here. Now, it is a it is a um, finite resource, but I'm okay with stocking this place with like 100 ore. There we are. Confirm that and keep that going. And also, same for coal. Until we've got a use for it, I may as well have it as a trade good. If a particularly nice trade deal comes along, then we will sell that off without too much worry another thing we can build at this point though is the art uh apiary now apiaries care about uh the honey bonus which is uh, it seems to be based quite heavily on proximity to farms and the uh, availability of flowers you can see there's a lot of stuff going down there uh it's in the it seems to indicate that this is going to be a really good place to put it but then there's so many other places around it that are bad but the 71% there, 72, 73, it seems that to be trying to get near the farm and everything down there is, is the sweet spot. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and plop this here. Now, there is a, a, an additional benefit to having the apiary near the farm. And that is farmers are the ones who deal with the apiary. So do bear that in mind. When you, when you have an apiary building, don't build them too far away from the farms. Otherwise, they won't get any work done. Now, we want to slide this down here. We want a nice big area. We can have lots of lots of trees around there should be good. Now, in terms of your fruit trees, different trees have different yields. They also have different lifespans, and that's an important one. Uh, does it actually tell us that here? No, it, they'll be harvested in different times. From what I understand, pears have the shortest lifespan, but the high, they, they mature faster and will have a decent yield, but the tree itself will perish a lot sooner, whereas apples and peaches, much, much longer lifespan. So you'll get more out of them across the fullness of their, their life cycle, but we'll go with pears to begin with. Let's just go ahead and plant these in nice, even rows. I'm not sure if it needs to be 
directly within the space of the arborist building or if it can be just a little bit outside and that'll be okay we'll we'll have to find out so that'll give us our pear trees let's go for some apple trees down beyond that it uh, adds some nice uh, gaps here and there just so that we can add in a couple of dirt paths whether or not we end up using them I don't know but I like the idea of having them there uh, actually I should line these ones up a little bit better because of that there we go and get that one out as well and I will just quickly finish off my plans for the trees and there we go now that's going to be an awful lot of work for people to get done but it should look lovely when it's finished while all that's in place, let's go ahead and connect up a couple of roads. Can can I make that work? Sort of, in an odd way. Uh, it'll probably look a little bit squiff, but I don't really mind that right now. Uh, we're going to want another road going straight down and through. I'll probably have these connect up then at the very end. Uh, something like this all the way and then down. If I can. There we go. And then another connection just down here, perhaps. Though, thinking about it, probably don't need it. That tree right there, though. Uh, I do want a road going around there. So, unfortunately, this tree is going to have to go. Uh, Culfer wood. Go ahead and do that. And prioritize that one, please. There we are. In fact, can I get a half set across that? No. I just have to wait for the arborist to take care of that one. Okay, well, that's fine. It's going to be uh, Obror taking care of the trees. Idling, unable to work. Oh, are we going to have to wait for that one to reach full maturity? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. And it's a peach tree as well, which is the worst, but oh well. Uh, we might be able to sort that out. We'll, we'll have to have a look at that, though. Right, okay, so are we with some clay? We are with some clay. Fantastic. This means we can at last look to get a school up and running. Now, how are we going to place this school? We could just have it straight up against the road, just across from the market. And I don't see much of a reason not to. This is going to push a couple of the homes up to the point that they can upgrade to homesteads. And that is going to be a huge, huge thing for us. It's going to be fantastically important. But having the work camp over here taking care of these mature trees is going to be a, a big help for us. A new traveling merchant has arrived. Uh, this time it is... Well, actually, let's go and have a look. Oh, we've got both of them. Did I miss the original uh, warning? Perhaps I did. But we've got Atka, who's here for another 29 days, and Beldar the Peddler. All right then, Beldar, let's have a quick look at you. What have you got available to us? Uh, you're fine with just buying and selling medicinal herbs, but you're selling for above... Uh, the, the cost. Ooh, you are selling cheap baskets. Now, until I've got Willow, that might be the only way we get baskets. You are also selling beans. Ah, I mean, you know, it's not terrible. Uh, how about Atka? What are you trading? You are trading for below cost on... Or rather, buying logs for a lot less than, than they are worth. No, no. But you are also buying shoes for a bit more than they're worth, which I am actually okay with the idea of. However, it does look like, sadly, we do not have much in the way of uh, easy trades here. I, ooh, if I'm going to sell shoes to anyone, it's going to be to the peddler. So, okay, sure, we'll uh, make a trade there. I'll sell you half of the stock of shoes that we've got, I think. Uh, or are you selling them to us? Oh, no, I've got to bring them over, of course. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's bring over... Sure, let's go for 20. If we can get it near there, that's fine. 19 is close enough. In terms of the sale of ores, though, neither one is particularly interested. They'd be willing to sell me coal, but again, not particularly interested on that one. Uh, I might have gone for that if I could afford it, but I don't think that one's going to be as useful to us, honestly. So we'll just... Hang tight with what we've got. Our uh, apiary is up and running. Hopefully the bees are very happy. We are losing some materials to decay, though, and I'm not, not best pleased about that one, if I'm honest. All right, once the uh, school is up and running, we should, if we're very lucky... Is that going to go away? No, that's just... Go oh. 
I see. Well, seven raiders have shown up with sacks ready to carry off uh, very important ways. Okay, um, maybe maybe now is the time that I get to... Rizal? Where are you, Rizal? Run, Rizal. <laughs> Go grab a weapon and get in there. Uh, we are going to ring the town bell. Everyone, get get in. If the raiders end up stealing stuff, that's fine. If they, uh, my main concern is that they don't steal your lives. Uh, looks like the raiders really did not bargain for what they ended up seeing. Oh, who is that? What hero? Sir Pew Pew! Not letting those raiders get away with our hard-earned. Well done, Sir Pew Pew. I greatly appreciate this. You're, you're out of ammo. <laughs> Why? Is it, are you always out of ammo? All right. Go forth, Sir Pew Pew. Is there anyone else available? I think they may be making off with some of our, our gubbins. Do not let it happen. Sir Pew Pew. Uh, unfortunately, he's probably one of the only people with a weapon there. Uh, I can't see how much gear they've got. No, I don't, th I don't think our hunter's actually going to catch up to them. Well, actually. Are you going to make it? You're going to be able to stall them? They are desperately trying to get away. All I need is for Pew Pew to take a shot, but sadly, I think they are chronically out of arrows. Um, on the plus side, we're getting to see the world a bit going over here. And there are enough people behind them now that we only need a few few people to manage to, to stop them. If they path in the wrong place, no. they We were raided. What did they get away with? Uh, they actually pillaged nothing. Hmm. We killed six of them and they just decided, nope. And they, uh, they, they backed out. Okay, fair enough. I'm aboard with that. Alright, well, maybe you should head back now. If you be so kind. Don't, don't hang up. Uh oh. See, this is my concern. Run up. I, you're being chased by a boar. This is, this is awful time. Oh, Sir Pew Pew, no. Brave Sir Pew Pew, run away. Now there's a boar. You cannot take on a boar with a sword. We need to get you more ammo. Right, are you coming back now? You are. You've decided, ah, that was a nice sightseeing trip. I I agree. I'm fairly, fairly happy that you went out there to do that. Uh, we've got mushrooms over there as well. Uh, all right, so we, we definitely need more arrows. But the odd thing is, I, I kind of feel that we've got enough materials for it. Or perhaps what we lack is, in fact, a... You know what? Let's pop someone else in there. Fui, you're now helping out with this, but... The real thing we're going to need is plenty of wood to be brought down there. Hopefully that will work out. Oh, have you managed to cut down that tree? Oh, well done. Marvellous work, in fact. There we go. We'll just get this to connect up there. There we are. All's well that ends well. All right, I'm fairly happy with this. Now we're just waiting on the rather obnoxious amount of money that we're going to need to be able to get this together. We've got a decent amount of planks, and I think we're, we've got more than enough, actually, to get things going. How are things over here? I, I, we're probably not going to see anyone using the temporary shelter for quite some time, if I'm honest. They won't use that until the middle of winter. But we've been kind of sat here without more people coming into the colony for a little while now. A little little too long, if you ask me. So let's get a couple more uh, houses down. Villages down? I mean, yeah, eventually. But not, not quite yet. Uh, maybe uh, running the gun there. A little bit too early. Uh, there we are. Is it running the gun? Is it jumping the gun? Maybe it's jumping the gun. I, I, I struggle. I am, I am aware that despite living in Britain, again, my first language is Welsh, and so certain certain English sayings, I, uh, I, I am, I am very, very conscious of the fact, largely because my friends keep pointing it out to me that sometimes I end up sounding like, like. A character from a movie who is just trying to to pretend to be a native of a place and is getting all of the the sayings wrong, and I hate that so much. <laughs> Damn it! And again, they never let me forget it. Uh, with friends like these, right? Okay. Well, in terms of food stocks, are really food stocks are low. Yes, they are. We just lost a painful amount of food. Yikes. All right. That was that was really quite disgustingly large amounts of food lost there. 
Ooh, let's have a look. What are we doing right now? Well, we've got a bunch of uh, cabbages. Will hopefully come through. We'll we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, we're starting to harvest them now. Okay, we're 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 all right. We're ahead of the spoilage in the next ten months, at the very least. We planted a lot of cabbage, to be fair. The fertility was quite nice when we planted them. It was sixty nine percent, so uh, it's not not awful. Uh, how tolerant of cold are you? You're actually very tolerant of cold. Ah, but the problem is I don't want to have them right next to each other. Mm. That is a problem. This is the, the better setup here, but... It does mean that those, uh, those turnips are going to have a fairly low amount of fertility when they start. But we're back up to eight months of food, but it's clear enough that we're going to need to set up a new, a new area. Oh, dear. Building has room for more workers. This building needs someone who is educated. Sadly, we have no one who is educated. Only 2% of the people in, the, in our colony are educated. All right, I'm going to need to go around and have a look at everyone and see if indeed they have any learnings about them. Okay, we are saved. Apple Fumble is has a basic education. All right, Apple Fumble, you are now going to be our teacher. Whoo, that was close. We had exactly, and I mean exactly, one educated settler. So there we are. Apple Fumble will be our teacher from now on, and that does mean that we need to pop two more hunters back in there. Let's have a look at who our hunters are now. We have got uh, my wife's a biggest fan, and have we got Sir Pew Pew back over here? No, Magrat's polar bears over there instead. Okay, so they've uh, they've uh, Sir Pew Pew has decided. Yeah, you know what? I actually, after the last couple of attempts at, at stopping raiders, I feel bad. I I didn't have arrows. I I need to think on this. I need I need to to meditate on my failure as a hunter i failed to hunt all of the bandits yes i didn't have enough arrows and that's not my fault but perhaps perhaps if i'd been a little bit more resourceful i could have made my own arrows out of the bones of the the animals i was hunting but instead i i remained a slave to the fletcher no i think super is going to go off live and live on the top of a hill and uh meditate on this for quite some time and come down able to to fashion arrows out of their thoughts the best hunter. Right, okay. Well, now we've got a school, and <laughs> we've got an impending blizzard. Uh, fair enough. Uh, but we do now have a school, and this is fantastic news, because it should mean that we will see a uh, suitable desirability increase. For example, over here. Over here, we've got quite a few, in fact, that are ready. Okay, we're going to turn on... Uh, there we are. Enabled. And we're already seeing a couple of them instantly upgrading oh that's fantastic we're gonna have our first couple of homesteads and really while a blizzard's on the way so half the uh people they, there was a very good chance that no one would have put that out just then because they were like no it's too cold we need the fire to keep warm i'm very glad you managed to put it out because that would have been an awful awful time for it to ha and someone's got a fractured bone oh my goodness it's all going on right now. You, you got a fractured bone in the sand pit. Okay. Fair enough. At least we've got a couple of new villages. Ratty Patty there. Tribe member. Let's uh, get you set up straight away. Alright, let's find out what the other four villages' names are. Also, let me put your name in properly, Ratty Patty. Okay, I actually completely missed that Manu was already named. So we've got Manu Horde the second, uh, Naive Water Bear, Mousy Karina, we've got Ratty Patty of course, and, and Speaker Blair, also another tribe member. Welcome. Welcome. Two uh, new tribe members have immigrated to the colony. But I'm actually really hoping that we're going to be able to finish these houses before the blizzard hits. Now the thing about the upgraded houses, they don't actually upgrade their uh, their capacity. So unlike uh, some games where larger houses or rather more upgraded houses have a greater um, population capacity, these houses do not. They simply pay taxes. And honestly, that's probably more valuable to us. Look at those. They're, ma they're made of actual planks of wood, not literal logs. I'm not sure which one would be more insulated, honestly. 
I couldn't tell you. But look at the, the lovely detail work on the thatch roof there. That is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Got some extra uh, extra rooms at the top as well. It looks like the yards are a little bit more, a little bit better kept as well. A little bit more organized. Liking it. Liking it a lot. Now, were there many others? I think there were a good couple. Someone has got typhoid? Alacramps has got typhoid, an infection that arises from uncleanliness and can then be spread among villagers. Typhoid causes vomiting, rash, fever, and sometimes can be fatal. Ensuring waste is collected from houses and houses are stocked with soap and rat populations are kept low will reduce the chance of the typhoid outbreak. My goodness, really? Uh, are we actually managing to collect everything? I, I would hope so. It doesn't look like there was a lot of waste just built up, but... Oh my goodness. Alright, so... A lot of bad things are happening right now. And someone else has got typhoid. Oh, this is going to get out of hand very quickly. Two villagers with typhoid and one with a fractured bone. <sighs> All three of them are bedridden. So hopefully, I mean, <laughs> it's winter. It's a good time to be bedridden, I guess. But uh, nevertheless, a little bit concerned for the well-being of our colony. We need to get that healer very, very quickly. Now, the market is able to collect a bit more taxes, thankfully, and uh, that is going to continue to upgrade as the houses themselves upgrade, so we may be able to get a healer in the next episode. In fact, we're probably going to need to, whether we want to or not, and then disable it when we don't need it uh, if we do run into some money woes. We'll have to see. But that is going to be where we wrap things up. I'm actually pretty happy with what we've managed to do. We've got a little mining colony set up. We've got a work camp that's automatically gathering trees, though it seems that it's probably gone through most of the trees that are available to it. I can, of course, move this around as pleases me, and uh, maybe we will, in fact, move it over there as well, and we'll shift it back here uh, sometime later. We've managed to upgrade a, or rather build an orchard, though it's going to be a good while before we start seeing any trees from that but eventually you know this well, that's more planning for the future really but we've also got clay and sand coming in which has allowed us to upgrade our farm just ever so slightly so we'll get a little bit more yield out of that we've also got a little happy beehive there as the wolves howl in the distance but most important of all is the fact that we now have some upgraded homesteads. Hopefully we'll be able to get a lot more of them in the next episode, and I hope that you will be with me for that next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.